Hey, it's Spence from WP Launch Club with your WordPress tip of the day. Today I've got a solution that fits into almost every one of our international clients, sales funnel sites, e-commerce sites with WooCommerce, and that is the need for a currency switcher. Here's the scenario. You've got clients who are buying your products or services and they want to pay in their native currency. If, for example, you have a US-based business, but many of your clients are in Great Britain, they'd want to pay with a pound. Israel, they'd want to pay with the new shekel. You could have somebody in a currency location that's very geographically specific. Kind of a pain in the rear end to do this manually. Enter Yay Currency. It's a free plugin available on the WordPress repository or a premium upgrade for a very inexpensive, it's like $49 here for a single site. You'll scroll down and you can see the difference in the premium. It gives you, as I'll show you, unlimited currencies, not just a single one to choose from, and then price based on country and auto updating the exchange rate. You'll see how this can be very convenient when you're trying to do a scenario. Let's go look at it on the website. Here I've got several products. You've seen these in my other videos. If I want to sell any product, Yay Currency allows me to configure it so it will display the currency of choice in a dropdown and it can even do this automatically based upon the IP address of the person who's visiting. This is really super convenient because let's say you take five or six specific currencies, the only one that the person will see is the one that applies to their geographic IP address. So let's take a look, for example, at the product. I can show the price on the single product page, on the checkout, I can even set it up for the follow-up emails. Here I've got the pizza and I can choose manually to override and go to US dollars or I can switch to Israeli shekel. Now when I add it to the checkout and let's say launch flows takes it directly to the checkout, I'm going to see everything in the currency that I've chosen. This is also quite awesome because it allows me to see it in a denomination that I'm going to be charged. As far as the site owner is concerned, the setup is super simple. So I highly recommend this for everyone. We're going to go over here to WooCommerce and we're going to go to Yay Currency. And the menu for setting these up is really, really simple. I didn't have to look to the manual even once. First of all, we've got the currencies of choice. If you've got the free one, you can choose from one alternative. If you've got the paid version, you can add many. Let's go ahead and add a new currency, something like the British pound. And here it allows us to see the preview. We can uh, change the rate or we can use the automatic feature in the Pro. I think that's the way to go because again, currencies fluctuate on a daily basis. Who has the time to sit there and adjust it every day? You can also add an additional fee in the form of a fixed fee or a percentage if, for example, it costs you money for the conversion. For example, let's say your bank is going to charge you a premium. There's additional settings here for the format. For example, if you want to move the symbol for the currency to the right or the left and, and all that kind of good stuff. But right out of the box, really simple. Let's save this currency. And now let me show you the other options. Here we can show in any particular order and we can turn them off. This is very similar to what we have, let's say, in the WooCommerce payment gateways. So we can arrange um, the different order if we want and we can just disable one if we decide, eh, we're not gonna offer the shekel today. You can also say here, which payment methods are available for which currency. Let's say, for example, that Stripe isn't so hot on you offering currency from country XYZ. You can just say that's only for PayPal or that's for a different specific gateway that you've set up for WooCommerce. Really powerful. And finally, let's go to the settings. And this is actually the powerful part where you have in the pro version, the ability to update the exchange rate automatically, which I've set here for 30 minutes. Therefore, I don't have to be monitoring it myself. And then you can auto select the currency by country. That will set the display currency depending on where the customer is based on IP address. So for the US dollar, that's the default for everybody. And of course, I set the Israeli shekel to Israel. But let's say for the pound sterling, I could choose a country that might use that currency, like let's say Ireland and so forth. And when I set the save changes, I'm good to go. At this point, I'm ready to have an automatic exchange rate, uh, automatic currency selector, and the customers are quite happy because they don't have to worry about thinking like, how much is this going to cost me in US dollars when I convert it to my local currency? I hope you give Yay Currency a quick look on either the free version in the repository or the pro version over at their website. I'll see you on the next video.